two minutes. This is your two minutes. Are the intro crew is ready. Can we check if the orchestra is ready, please? We have a 40 lantern in the ballroom. Can we get somebody on that as soon as possible? Okay, just waiting for a go from Cairo. Do we have anybody in the weather club? No. They've gone too. Alright, okay, no problem. One minute. Break a leg, everybody. Positions, please. Performance 237, beginning in three, two, one. Let's go. One second, please. Hold, hold your first position. There's somebody at the door. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, one second. Can we get a precise location on the player, please? There's two of them. Right. Okay. Hi. So this is this is so this is a bit um this is a bit awkward. I think it's probably best if we're just really honest with each other. It's uh, it, yeah, it's 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 a bit awkward. Um. The thing is, the game you've just downloaded, somebody is playing it right now, so you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't play it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is quite inconvenient. I don't know, I don't know why this keeps happening. 
Sorry, we're generally quite organised. You should come inside, I'll explain. Uh, just through here. It's perfectly safe. I mean, it's mostly... It's quite safe. Just go... Yeah, come inside. Okay. Okay, you can wait there. It's just the green room so much comfier. You know? Oh no, not that way. The game's live at the moment. I, I promise you can play in a bit. Promise. But I really... I really could use your help though. Come this way. That's, uh, yeah, that's us. That's the game you're supposed to be playing. Look, c come, come in, come in. Here's the thing. The game's live, which makes it impossible to, to insert you. And also, it's, it's, it's just quite difficult now for you to leave. But I think it's okay. I, 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 know, I, I know what to do. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try and call publicity and liaisons and we should be able to take you to the green room. Alright? If you just wait here, uh, and, yeah, we'll be able to get you in. Alright, let, let me just find the number here. Okay. It's ringing. Somebody will pick up. We're okay. We're okay. It's ringing. Uh, don't worry. Yeah, it's ringing. It's still, it's still ringing. Come on, for God's sake. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's. Ju yeah. I guess we've just gone live, so they might be a bit busy. Oh, they hung up. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try that again. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, I know, I know we've both got better things to be doing with our lives. Oh, come on, come on. Still ring. Sorry, I'm really sorry about this, it won't be a moment. Come on, bloody, bloody publicity and liaisons. I mean, what are they? Oh, God. They're probably at some event. Don't worry, it's still ringing. Uh, maybe this is... I mean, this should be the right number. Did I do the code? I think I did the right code. Okay. Oh, I know what's going on. We've got um, something of a strike sort of situation emerging. Yeah, we've be we've become quite understaffed. Actually, you wouldn't um, mind doing me a favour, would you? Come come through here. I could really I could I could really use your help. But if you'd rather if you'd rather wait here, I I could just let you know when we're ready for you. It's it's just. You know, why miss out on this opportunity, right? Very few players get to visit here.
the thing is, our entire weather department and half the wildlife crew is just up to the left before we could even begin this morning. And it's all super simple. It's mostly buttons. You like buttons, right? And you'll be able to play the game as soon as whoever is in there at the moment is finished. Promise. Your help? Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, this way. Yeah, the lighting department's right through here. Don't, don't worry about the strike. It's, we'll, we'll get through it. You're spoiling some of the magic, you know. It feels a bit like cheating, but, you know, it's okay. You carry on. You do whatever you need to do. That's the, uh, no, I can't let you back out of there for lots of reasons. Uh, one of the reasons? Danger. Danger is one of the reasons. The balloonist's daughter. Oh, this one's going to be tricky. It's, um, yeah, it's the, the flight model is, it's broken at the moment, but the landscapes look phenomenal. I'm excited. I'm excited about this one. Oh no, that's where the game is. You can't go in there. I'm sorry. It's a single player game. Uh, yep, that's the broom. Ah, no, that's, uh, that's miscellaneous interactions. We don't need to go in there.
Right, first things first, could you bring up the lights? Thank you so much, because, you know, we can't feel playing in the dark. It's all over. Like die. See that lever? It sets the sunset off. We've got the reflections in the lake looking. They're sort of great. Um, could you pull the lever? You should pull the lever. We really can't have a player wandering around in the dark. You, you I mean, you know, how, you know how to pull a lever, right? Come on, you've pulled the lever before. <laughs> just, just put, just put your, just put your hand on it and then sort of lift it up. I can't let you in there. Sorry, it's, it's very complicated. Health and safety. It's shelves. It's just there's a lot of shelves. Come on, let's get the lights up. Oh, no, that's absolutely not the right button. You just you just made a beeline for that one, huh? I think I think we're okay. We're okay. I still need you to pull the lighting lever, though. That, that would be ideal. Yeah, just now. It's the bigger one. Could you, um, maybe not do that? Please. There it goes. Little lights blinking on in the windows of the mansion, up past the ornamental ponds. Oh, it's pretty magical, really. Okay, now we need to attack them with a the tiger. It, it, it's a heist game. The player's playing a big heist. I, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it, the tiger's very important. It's in the title. All right, into wildlife preparation. Just through the door. Don't, you don't have to be alarmed. It's not, it's not a real jungle. It's just a game. It's actually, it's just a room full of b bits of jungle. The difference is important, but I, I, I mean, I, I can understand the concern. Right, this is all, it's so safe. We'd usually have someone else do this, but they started striking right after one of them got. Well, that's not, uh, I shouldn't have. Just, just pull the lever and, and let's say, introduce the tiger to the level. <laughs> you should pull the tiger lever, really. Look, look, trust me on this one. Tigers, it turns out, just aren't. They're not. They're not in love with the idea of uh, boxes. Oh Jesus! Could you? Could you please? Could you please? 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 Look, look, if you if you need to build up to it. Oh no, oh no, not that, not that door. There's a, look, there's a far more pressing concern in the room and it's growling. There's an actual tiger in this room, an actual tiger. Like, it's about four feet away from you. I don't, I don't want to cause alarm, but it's a tiger. Don't do that, don't do that. Don't do that, don't do that. I really shouldn't do that. I can both be able to get out of the cage. I don't, I don't know. But I, I mean, I wouldn't be better. Okay, look, here's what I'll tell you. This tiger, this tiger alone has eaten at least seven human hands. Probably more. Almost definitely more. Perfectly. Uh, there should be a red button nearby. It will just let the recovery crews know that the tiger's ready for pickup. It's the, it's the button.
button. I think it's by the door to the weather room. Uh, okay, Pr press it again. Oh, thank goodness, the recovery crew are on the move. I worried they might have joined the picnic or gone to the union or been eaten by a tiger, you know. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to work out where you're going to be most useful. I don't think we have anybody left in catwalks, do we? Oh, we do. Oh, great. Wow. Can't believe it. I guess weather control then. The door's just over there. You're doing, you're doing so great. There's not really, there's really not far to go. easy, you know. During our second performance, a pipe burst in here and flooded the whole garden level. The player got stuck on the, uh, on the roof of the summer house. All right, okay, the script calls for a storm. Let's make it rain. It's the red valve on the pipe next to the door. Gently. A lot of the story relies on there being a storm. It's, 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 a, it's a big part of Act 3. Listen, really, it's okay. Don't worry about what I told you about the flood. We've had 235 non-fatal performances since then. All right, let me be totally honest. In two performances, we had mostly underwater surprise moments, but we give everyone armbands now. No, 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 too much. Okay, we're good. Uh, there's a button below the fan that sorts out the thunder and lightning. Oh. It might be wired up wrong. I'm sorry. That room gets quite down. Now I think about it, it might have been taken. Oh, no! There it is! There it goes! You've got a picture of the building lit up by these big flashes of lightning. It's really imposing. The set's massive. Oh, speaking of... The player has apparently entered the mansion through the orangery and is. I don't use the lift. Open that paper, look at the door. Right there. This way. Actually, wait, hang on a second. This is really important. Behind this door is the closest the player ever passes backstage. They'll be right behind a wall. And I don't know what the wall's made of, but I do know that it's phenomenally cheap. So, it's gonna have to be very quiet. Okay? in there. The player would have got here much earlier, except they had to disarm the lasers that somebody put in their way. 
You, you do know that when I say somebody, right, I, I mean you. I'm, I'm not being too subtle here, am I? It's, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It was just a, it was a fun and unexpected and searing challenge for them. In any case, here's what we need to do. The player's going to come down the corridor and call the lift. And once the doors open and they get inside, they're going to press the down button. When that happens, all you have to do is pull the lever on this side. This lift was always supposed to power itself, obviously. This is just a hangover from rehearsals that nobody got round to replacing. Besides, it's fine, it's fine. We've got plenty of time. And actually, no, wait, here he comes, here he comes. Shh, out, ice front, ice front, ice front. Wait for him. Ready? What are they doing? Why haven't they, why haven't they pressed the button? Do they hear us? Don't move. Oh, thank God, they're moving. Oh, no idea what happened there. I think, I think, I think they, they can't have heard us. I hope they didn't hear us. They probably didn't hear us. At least they're on their way now. Actually, they're going to be very busy with the vault. You could start playing in the grounds. We just need to prep some pyrotechnics for the escape sequence and then you're good to go. There's a lift to the pyro workshop up the stairs. If we could just, uh, hurry along. You're not into lifts. That's okay, I can understand that. But we really should keep moving. It's not, it's not an unpleasant lift. Really, it's a, it's a good lift. Oh my god. Are you okay? Do you, do you do you still have your ankles? Are they are they in the correct uh, orientation? Okay, you're okay? You do? That's great. I'm so I'm oh god, I'm so sorry about that. I really This is well this is the weather room, isn't it? Uh right. Okay, listen. Since we can't reach the lift of Pyro, the only way back into the game is through is through a department called High Concept Miscellaneous Interactions. Oh, I didn't want to have to do this to you. There's usually a lot of training involved. But I'll talk you through it. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. You... Brace yourself. Welcome to Miscellaneous Interactions. This is the department that controls... Well, it controls a lot of things. Locks and unlocked doors, interior lights, smoke machines, telephone calls, actor cues, laser lights, vault guards, tranquilizer dart strengths, you know, that kind of thing. But it's all just done with numbers. I, I don't know why. And, uh, and usually the operator's got this big... Um, you know, usually they know what they're doing, but I've got a manual here. I think we'll get through it.
All right, in order to get started, you're going to want to press the number four. Just go right ahead, the number four. It should be on the left-hand side. Uh, you know, you know, you know the number four, right? It's a, you know, four. It's a, it's like a, it's like an L shape with, with a short line through the. Um, I can't believe what am I doing here? It's like an L with a short line through the bottom bit. It's a four. Oh god, no, no, that wasn't four. That was like the opposite of four. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I don't think that light's a, a bad sign. Uh, five, seven, two, one, two, one. Um, three. Ah, okay, so what we did there, it turns out, was the wrong thing. Could you um could you press nine and then four and then and then one? We, oh, I think we restarted it. It's all right. There's a page in the manual about this. What? What? What did you just? That could have been very important. What did you? Why did you? Ah, I, it's all right. Okay, I found the right instructions. All right, I need you to press the number nine. No, 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 not that one. A nine, please. That's very important. I double checked. A nine.
here's, here's good. Here's good. Great. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, back, back. Come on, back up the stairs. A bit faster than that, please. Just a bit, you know, just a bit faster. Come on, come on. All right, don't worry, don't worry. Actually, do worry a bit. Hit seven, four, then asterisk. Is there a fire below us right now? Is there, some, is there something on fire? Oh, there is, isn't there? I don't think, really, I don't think any of this room is supposed to be on fire. Please don't do what I think you're about to do. Please don't do it. Pick up the phone and, and put it to your ear. Like a normal person. Like a normal person who can answer a phone. And you'll you'll be able to talk to somebody on the other end. It's really easy. It's really easy. It's very easy. No! What? It did my thing. do it anyway. Why? Wait. Hang on. We can, we can still fix this. We can. I, I need you to find a blue panel marked downpour. It's turned off, right? I found a way to activate the failsafe lever to the left of the key... Oh no, wait. On the right of the keypad. Right. Not left. Don't do the left. Uh, okay. When the downpour panel lights up, I'm going to need you to pull it. When it lights up. Not before. Any moment now. Did we do it? I think we did it. The players left the mansion. I think, I, I think we did it. I don't think it's supposed to still be raining, but you know. Hey, come back down the stairs. You're done here. You don't need to spend any more time in this room. You can forget about the whole thing. Or you, you, you can try to forget about it, whatever. You're done, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You really helped out. We couldn't have made it through without you. We really couldn't have. Through here. Here we are again. So this is how it's going to work. You go in there. Just give me a moment. I will bring the lights up. And Dr. Langenkopf, the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald. Enjoy it. Oh, don't tell me you're getting cold feet now. Anything, trust me, anything on the other side of that door is peanuts compared to what we've just gone through. It's great though, it's, uh, it's really good. Particularly the voice work. Some of the voice work is outstanding. It's really good. I can see Baffer sniffing all over this. It's really good. It'll probably win awards. Yeah, despite everything, it's really not bad. Thank you so much. What? Another player? You've got to be kidding me. You, I can't, I can't do this again. Okay, this is really awkward. The fact of the matter is... Wait, hang on, where are you going? Right, so, look, I need to talk you... Okay, that's the lighting room. You need to talk... Okay, fine. This is wildlife prep. No, hang on. This is that, that's a hang on. There's a tiger in there. There's a tiger in there. That's uh, no, don't don't pull that. Wait, no. Oh. oh God.
Okay, two minutes. This is your two minutes. One second, please. Hold, hold your first position. There's somebody at the door. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, one second. Can we get a precise location on the please? There's two of them. Well. Hi. So, this is, this is, so this is a bit, um, this is a bit awkward. I think it's probably best if we're just really honest with each other. It's, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit awkward. Um, the thing is, the game you've just downloaded, somebody is playing it right now. So you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't play it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, this is quite inconvenient. I don't know. I don't know why this keeps happening. Sorry, we're generally quite organised. You should come inside. I'll explain. Uh, just through here. Check, check. Hello. It's on. Hello. Okay. Uh, so, uh, a deer come to me right now about a parrots. A parrots. Uh, they are very interesting birds. Very colourful birds. They talk. They repeat what they hear. A parrot repeat what he hears. It's a very interesting idea. I take this concept for game. I make a parrot character. He is, repeats what he hear from the player. So the player say something, the parrot repeat. It's a great idea for game. I'm going to go pitch it to Michael. Right now, I'll be right back to tell the result from my pitch to Michael. And Michael said he don't like my idea. He said he don't like a parrot idea. Oh, oh, he don't like it. Oh, it is my strongest idea. <laughs> Give me a gun. Oh, oh, Ow. Son of a bitch. He had taken my heart. He had, Michael had taken my heart. Oh no, not that way. The game's live at the moment. I, I promise you can play in a bit. Promise. But I really, I really could use your help, bro. Come this way. Here's the thing. The game's live, which makes it impossible to, to insert you. And also it's, it's, it's just quite difficult now for you to leave. But I think it's okay. I, I, I know, I, I know what to do. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and call publicity and liaisons and we should be able to take you to the green room, all right? If you just wait here, uh, and yeah, we'll be able to get you in. All right, let me just, let me just find the number here. Okay. It's ringing. Oh, they hung up. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try that again. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, I know, I know we've both got better things to be doing with our lives. Okay, oh, I know what's going on. We've got um, something of a strike sort of situation emerging. Yeah, we've, be we've become quite understaffed. Actually, you wouldn't um, mind doing me a favour, would you? Come, come through here. I could really, I could, I could really use your help. If you'd rather, if you'd rather wait here, I, I could just let you know when we're ready for you. It's, it's just, you know, why miss out on this opportunity, right? Very few players get to visit here. State your name. My name is my name is Terry. All right, Terry. So you're playing the role of a giant cucumber. You're being chased by lawn garden people. 
So go ahead. Let me hear what you got. Okay. Here we go. Hey, I'm a giant cucumber. Check me out. I'm a giant cucumber. All right. That's pretty good. Can you do that? Can you be a little more, a little scareder? A little scareder, please. Okay. Oh, man, I'm a giant cucumber. I'm so scared. Oh, jeez. Check me out. I'm a giant cucumber. All right. That's pretty good. Next. All right. Um, you're playing the part of... You're recording for the part of uh, a giant garden person who's chasing a huge cucumber. State your name and go ahead and give me a go ahead and give me a, an audition. Uh, my name's my name's Willie, and here we go. I'm a I'm a giant garden person. I'm chasing a cucumber. Come in, come on back and get me. Come on and get you. Here I'm coming to get you. I'm a giant lawn or garden character. My name's my name's Willie. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Not bad. We'll we'll let we'll we'll uh we'll we'll let you know. Next. All right. Um. State your name. Ah, oh, my name's Little Tommy. All right, Little Tommy. You're going to be auditioning for the part of the giant planet. So you're going to be a whole planet that's in outer space, and you're going to just be getting chased by a bunch of pickles, cucumbers, all kinds of stuff like that that are real big. So go ahead. Let's hear it. Okay. Um. Oh, no. I'm a giant planet. Oh, jeez. Check me out, look at me, I'm a whole planet. I'm getting chased by a bunch of cucumbers and pickles and all that stuff. Oh no, my name's Little Tommy. I hope I hope I, I hope I get this part. I'm really hoping I could get I, I really need this money. Whoa, that was an incredible audition, little guy. Alright, well we'll be in touch. Jenny, you got all this recorded? All right, put this in Michael's office. This is one of per 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 Perrier's games. Yeah, Pierre. I'm getting sick of this shit. The thing is, our entire weather department and half the wildlife crew is just up to the left before we could even begin this morning. And it's all super simple. It's mostly buttons. You like buttons, right? And you'll be able to play the game as soon as whoever is in there at the moment is finished. Promise. Your help? Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, this way. Yeah, the lighting department's right through here. Hmm. Yeah. Could we, could we maybe move it along just a little? The play's been in the loading screen for the last minute and a half and we really should bring up the lights. You're spoiling some of the magic, you know. It feels a bit like cheating, but you know, it's okay. You carry on. You do whatever you need to do. Oh no, that's where the game is. You can't go in there. I'm sorry. It's a single... Uh, yep, that's the broom. Ah, 
No, that's uh, that's miscellaneous interactions. We don't need to go in there. Scary pencils. The scary pencils are coming to attack me. The scary pencils are coming to attack me. What do I do? Well, I, do, I tell you one thing. You've got to run as fast as you can in the hills. Uh, you got to take off of your clothes. Uh, you got to run in the hills. Uh, the scary pencils are coming to attack. That's the scene of the first act of the game. That's the scene of the first act of the game. Why won't anyone take my idea? It's a, just a trying to make a game over here. Oh, oh, uh, rejection is so hard to take. It uh, hurts me. Oh, the pencils, they attack. You are running for the hills. You take off all of your clothes. It's such an easy concept. It's such an easy game concept. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They think they know all the best ideas for the game. I know the good ideas for the game. I want to have a, a pencil attack. You write to the pencils, but they now attack you. You run for the hills. You head up for the hills. That's the, uh, no, I can't let you back out of there for lots of reasons. Uh, one of the reasons, danger. Danger is one of the reasons. Right, first things first, could you bring up the lights? Thank you so much, because, you know, we can't have people playing in the dark. Or they'll fall over, they, they, you know, they could die. See that lever? It sets the sunset off. We got the reflections in the lake looking, they're sort of great. Um, could you pull the lever? You should pull the lever. We really can't have a player wandering around in the dark. You, you, I mean, you know, how, you know how to pull a lever, right? Come on, you've pulled a lever before. <laughs> just, just put, just put your, just put your hand on it and then sort of lift it up. Mm, oh, oh! It hurts my heart. Does nobody believe me about my series? I'm a serious, hmm. I'm a serious, m gonna make of this game, pencils. Oh, the scariest vessel of terror in the world is a pencil. The pencil's tack. You run up for the hills. <laughs> Why do they do it to me? Why do they do this to me? It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Oh, it's going to be a lost in the voids of the universe. Uh, mm, oh, so upset. I hit the tables. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, I broke my pinky. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Oh, oh, the creative process. Oh, oh, oh. The creative processing of it tearing me apart. It tearing me apart. Oh, oh. oh. it's a, it's a week of twenty-five. Ah, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the pencils. They are a uh, terrorist. They attack. You have to run for the hills. You take off all of your clothes. Each clothing item, it represent one point of power. You must lose your power points or the pencils will attack. Head up for the hills! Oh, so excited. Oh. 
Oh my god, that switch literally says unknown, and you thought it'd be a good idea to flick it? Who knows what it does? I don't even know if we should be concerned. I still need you to pull the lighting lever though. That, that would be ideal. Yeah, just now. It's the bigger one. I can't let you in there. Sorry, it's, it's very complicated. Health and safety. It's shelves, it's just, there's a lot of shelves. There it goes. Little lights blinking on in the windows of the mansion, up past the ornamental ponds. Oh Christ, who walks up to a switch marked lasers and thinks this, this is the one for me? Do we have staff? Oh, we don't. Okay, great. we're good, we're good. Look, um, poor switch choices aside, we really need to keep going now. There's a sort of a, there's some unique time pressure in the next room. Could you, um, maybe not do that? Please. Right, this is all, it's so safe. We'd usually have someone else do this, but they started striking right after one of them got up. Well, that's not, that, I shouldn't have. Just, just, just pull the lever and, and let's say, introduce the tiger to the level. <laughs> you should pull the tiger lever, really. Oh no, oh no, not that, not that door. There's a, look, there's a far more pressing concern in the room and it's growling. There's an actual tiger in this room, an actual tiger. Like, it's about four feet away from you. Don't, I don't want to cause alarm, but it's a tiger. so simple it's so it's so anger it makes me anger Recovery crew can do anything, you know. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You really shouldn't do that. Look, the tiger won't be able to get out of the cage. I don't, I don't think. But I, I mean, I wouldn't bet on it. Okay, look, here's what I'll tell you: this tiger, this tiger alone, has eaten at least seven human hands, probably more, almost definitely more.
perfect. That went perfectly. Look, the tiger's inside the level. We need to make sure it doesn't, you know, eat everybody. Could you hit the red button to send the retrieval team? It's the, it's the button... I think it's by the door to the weather room. We just can't leave the tiger in the level. We try that one. Take all the birds. And then the head of the little statue on the fountain. And then... And then... Trevor. <sighs> Trevor. Look, just please press the button. meant to do it this time. The tiger's out in the level. Okay, go. They're on the move. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to work out where you're going to be most useful. I don't think we have anybody left in catwalks, do we? Oh, we do. Oh, great. Wow. Can't believe it. I guess weather control then. The door's just over there. Oh, I hate this room. It hasn't been easy, you know. During our second performance, a pipe burst in here and flooded the whole garden level. The player got stuck on the... Uh, on the roof of the summer house. All right, okay, the script calls for a storm. Let's make it rain. It's the red valve on the pipe next to the door. Gently. A lot of the story relies on there being a storm. It's, it's... No, 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 too much. Okay, we're good. Uh, there's a button below the fan that sorts out the thunder and lightning. Could you do the lightning? It's a really nice effect. It's, it really is. Now I think about it, it might have been taken. Oh no! There it is! There it goes! You've got a picture of the building lit up by these big flashes of lightning. It's really imposing. The set's massive. Oh, speaking of, the player has apparently entered the mansion through the orangery and is. They're gonna use the lift. Okay, that's okay, we can do this. They're right here. This way. Actually, wait, hang on a second, this is really important. Behind this door is the closest the player ever passes backstage. They'll be right behind a wall, and I, I don't know what the wall's made of, but I do know that it's phenomenally cheap. So, we're gonna have to be very quiet, okay? Um, just down the steps. Yeah, that's good. That's the mansion in there. I didn't want to tell you, but we actually lost the player for a minute earlier. I mean, I mean, they're back now, it's fine, we're good, but they, they completely vanished for a bit. Which, thinking about it, might be a fairly good argument for not pressing the switch marked unknown. In any case, here's what we need to do. The player's going to come down the corridor and call the lift. And once the doors open and they get inside, they're going to press the down button. When that happens, all you have to do is pull the lever on this side. This lift was always supposed to power itself, obviously. This is just a hangover from rehearsals that nobody got round to replacing. Besides, it's fine, it's fine. We've got plenty of time. And actually, no, wait, here he comes, here he comes. Shh, out, oh, ice front, ice front, ice front. Wait for it. Ready? What are they doing? Why haven't they, why haven't they pressed the button? Do they hear us? Don't move. Pull the, pull the lever. Pull the lever now, please. What are you waiting for? Pull it. <sighs> You're breaking my heart. Okay, 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 fine, we'll just wait. We'll just wait, shall we?
Hey, it's me, little Timmy. I got the part. I'm hiding pretzels all around the office. I'm gonna put pretzels in all the nooks and crannies of this place. Just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't wanna lose my job. <laughs> I'm Mike, I'm, I'm little Tommy. Um, I got the part as the planet. I'm gonna be a planet. Hopefully the funding comes through. The financing for the game. They said they can't finance it, but they're gonna try anyways. I'm little Tommy. And I'm the role of the planet. Check me out. I'm going to be a planet in the game. Oh, Daisy. I'm going to place pretzels all over this building. Forget about it. Just kidding. I'm not doing that. I don't want to lose my work. <laughs> what do you think? I'm crazy. I wouldn't put pretzels anywhere. That's a surefire way to get fired from your voice job as a, pre as a planet. I'm a big old planet. I hear there's a, I hear there's a, a, a company party tomorrow night. I'm little Tommy. I'm going to be there. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. I'm going to go there and I'm going to really shake it up. I'm going to shake this place up once and for all by putting pretzels all over the every nook and cranny of that building. <laughs> Just kidding. I, who do you think I am? A, a lunatic? I wouldn't do that. What kind of crazy person... Wants to get fired that bad, huh? I'm little Tommy. Look at me. I'm gonna, I'm a, I, I don't know why they don't hurry up with the financing. Still waiting to record. Who boy, who baby. You gotta get a, get a, get a, get a buckle on it. Get a buckle on it. That's my quote. That's what I tell everybody I know. Get a buckle on it. Get out of here. You know what I mean? Anyways, I don't know why I keep talking into this recording recorder. It's not like I got better stuff to do. I mean, it's not like I don't have better things to be doing. I got all kinds of stuff I got to do, such as hide pretzels all around the building. You know what I mean? I'm going to stuff them in every nook and cranny. <laughs> Just kidding. What kind of crazy idea came up with that idea? You know what I mean? All right. Well, so, so over and out. Little Timmy over and out. Oh, thank God, I'm moving. Oh, no idea what happened there. I think, I think, I think they, they can't have heard us. I hope they didn't hear us. They probably didn't hear us. At least they're on their way now. Actually, they're going to be very busy with the vault. You could start playing in the grounds. We just need to prep some pyrotechnics for the escape sequence and then you're good to go. There's a lift to the pyro workshop up the stairs. If we could just, uh, hurry along. You're not into lifts. That's okay, I can understand that. But we really should keep moving. It's not it's not an unpleasant lift. Really. It's a, it's a good lift.
Oh my god. Are you okay? Do you, do you, do you still have your ankles? Are they, are they in the correct uh, orientation? Okay, you're okay? You do? That's great. I'm so, I'm, oh god, I'm so sorry about that. I really, this is, well, this is the weather room, isn't it? Uh, right. Okay, listen. Since we can't reach the lift of Pyro, the only way back into the game is through, is through a department called High Concept Miscellaneous Interactions. I didn't want to have to do this to you. There's usually a lot of training involved. But I'll talk you through it. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. You... Brace yourself. Welcome to Miscellaneous Interactions. This is the department that controls... Well, it controls a lot of things. Locks and unlocked doors, interior lights, smoke machines, telephone calls, actor cues, laser lights, vault guards, tranquilizer dart strength, you know, that kind of thing. But it's all just done with numbers. I, I don't know why. And, uh, and usually the operator's got this big, um, you know, usually they know what they're doing. But I've got a manual here. I think we'll get through it.
All right, in order to get started, you're gonna to want to press the number four. Um, don't worry about that. Don't worry, that's fine. That, I think that's normal. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I don't think that light's a, a bad sign. Uh, five, seven, two, one, two, one. Um, three. Ah, okay, so what we did there, it turns out, was the wrong thing. Could you, um, could you press nine and then four and then, and then one? Did we, oh, I think we restarted it. It's all right, there's a page in the manual about this. Oh, I think you should probably get that. Listen, I know it's tempting to ignore problems that you've caused, but this is, this is really the worst time for that. Just come on, pick up the phone. Just come on, pick up the phone. They might actually be able to help. I don't know who's calling us. I don't know. But I, I do know that when a phone rings in this room, it's a big deal. I don't know who's calling us, to be honest. All right, look, come on, answer the phone. What, what, what did you just, that could have been very important. What did you, why did you, ah, I, it's all right. Okay, I found the right instructions. All right, I need you to press the number nine. All right, let's, okay, well, let's, let's just assume that we've got nine sorted, right? Okay, five, two, one, four, four. Wait, no, hit start to cancel that, and then a two, a six, just ignore that. That's fine, right? Seven, two, left, one, four, Oh Christ, please pick up the phone, please, and talk to them this time. How can you, how can you, how is this not making you incredibly anxious? Oh, come on, again? Is, is there, do you just not know how to use the phone? All right, back to the board. Hit these four numbers, two, five, nine. Oh, I guess we don't need to bother with nine. Oh, that sound that I might have told you to ignore, it turns out that, it, it, that's a very bad alarm. So I'm going to need you to just do a 180 right down the stairs, please. Right down. Probably, I'd probably go a bit further. Move. You really, you really want to move right now. Sorry I didn't know about the alarm. I've been a lot going on in my life and you really must move. Come on. Move. Move. Here's good, here's good, great. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, back, back, come on, back up the stairs. A bit faster than that, please. Just a bit, you know, just a bit faster. Come on, come on. No, 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 please stick with me. We've got to, we've really got to fix this. We've got to fix this. All right, don't worry, don't worry. Actually, do worry a bit. Hit seven. Four, then asterisk. Is there a fire below us right now? Is there, some, is there something on fire? Oh, there is, isn't there? I don't think, really, I don't think any of this room is supposed to be on fire. Please don't do what I think you're about to do. Please don't do it. Just pick up the phone and, and put it to your ear. Like a normal person. Like a normal person who can answer a phone. And you'll, you'll be able to talk to somebody on the other end. Why did you do? Why did you do anyway? Why? Wait, hang on. We can we can still fix this. We can. I I need you to find a blue panel marked downpour. Do you see it? Do you see it?
turned off, right? I found a way to activate a fail-safe lever to the left of the... Oh no, wait, on the right of the keypad. Right, not left. Don't to the left. Uh, okay, when the downpour panel lights up, I'm gonna need you to pull it. When it lights up, not before. Any moment now. Did we do it? I think we did it. The players left the mansion. I think, I think we did it. I don't think it's supposed to still be raining, but you know. Hey, come back down the stairs. You're, you're done here. You don't need to spend any more time in this room. You can forget about the whole thing. Or you, you, you can try to forget about it, whatever. This is it. You're done, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You really helped out. We couldn't have made it through without you. We really couldn't have. Through here. Here we are again, so this is how it's gonna work. You go in there, just give me a moment, I will bring the lights up, and Dr. Langenkopf, the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald. Enjoy it. 
Oh, don't tell me you're getting cold feet now. Anything, trust me, anything on the other side of that door is peanuts compared to what we've just gone through. It's great though, it's, uh, it's really good. Particularly the voice work. Some of the voice work is outstanding. It's really good. I can see Bastard sniffing all over this. The balloonist daughter. Oh, this one's going to be tricky. It's, um, yeah, it's the, the flight model is, is broken at the moment, but the landscapes look phenomenal. I'm excited, I'm excited about this one. Thank you so much. What? Another player? You've got to be kidding me. You, I can't, I can't do this again. Okay, this is really awkward. The fact of the matter is... Wait, hang on, where are you going? Right, so, look, I need to talk you... Okay, that's the lighting room. You need to put... Okay, fine, this is wildlife prep. No, hang on, this is... That's a... Hang on, there's a tiger in there. There's a tiger in there. That's... Uh, no, don't, don't pull that! Wait, no! Oh! Oh, God. One second, please. Hold, hold your questions.